You are watching Market Watch, the brief overview of the key events from the world of finance. Global financial markets reacted with restraint to the news of Joe Biden's withdrawal from the U.S. presidential race. Investors' attention quickly shifted from political events to corporate reports and interest rates. In the United States, an interest rate cut is almost guaranteed for September, and in Europe, a 25 basis point decrease is expected in October. This week, the focus will be on data on consumer confidence in the Eurozone and sales of existing homes in the United States, which will be released on Tuesday. However, this data is unlikely to affect current expectations. The main attention of market participants will be focused on reports from companies such as Tesla and Alphabet, which will be released after the market closes. Texas Instruments and Visa will also report after the U.S. market closes, and Coca-Cola, General Electric, General Motors and UPS will present their reports before the start of trading. The publication of reports, especially if the data differs from expectations, can become a catalyst for an increase in the volatility of the relevant stock indices. In addition to the reports, among the key events that may affect the market on Tuesday, it is worth highlighting consumer confidence in Europe, sales of existing homes in the United States and the Richmond Fed Manufacturing Index. As for the oil market, prices stabilized on Tuesday after falling during the previous two sessions. Investors remain cautious amid expectations of abundant supply and weak demand, while they ignored the political vicissitudes in the United States. City analysts believe that neither Harris nor Republican candidate Donald Trump will promote policies that will significantly affect oil and gas production operations. The American Petroleum Institute is due to release its estimates of last week's oil reserves on Tuesday, and official U.S. government data is expected on Wednesday. And now to the crypto markets. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has given the green light to launch exchange-traded funds ETFs holding Ether, the second-largest cryptocurrency in the world. The auction will begin on Tuesday. Among the companies seeking to launch funds on the Ether are major asset managers such as BlackRock, Fidelity, and VanEck. The launch of the Ether ETF comes six months after the launch of Bitcoin ETFs, which have shown some of the most successful debuts in the history of the industry. Collectively, these funds have attracted more than $16 billion in net inflows. That's all I have. Follow the news carefully and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.